Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the trapping rainwater problem. Given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1, compute how much water it is able to trap after raining. So, for example, they give you this elevation map, so the input is an array. This array corresponds to an elevation map, so every element is an elevation. Here, the elevation is 0, so you see a 0 in the array. Here, the elevation is 1, so you see a 1. The elevation is 0. The elevation is 2. And so on. The black part corresponds to an elevation. The blue part corresponds to the amount of water that it is able to trap between these two elevations. So, in total, this elevation map traps 6 units of water. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 units of water. So how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. We could use additional data structures like arrays. And we could go from left to right, from left to right and then from right to left and find the amount of water uh, trapped. But we can also use a stack data structure. If we use a stack, we can take advantage of the LIFO property to find out how much water is trapped. But we can do better than that. We can use the two-pointer technique. And by using the two-pointer the two -pointer technique and a few variables, we can actually solve this problem in big O of n time and constant space, big O of one space. So we can have a pointer the left pointer initialized here and the right pointer initialized at the end. The left pointer is going to move from left to right, the right pointer is going to move from right to left. And, this, and if you observe, the amount of water that is able to be trapped between two elevations depends on the lower elevation. So you can see this elevation has height 1 and this elevation has height 2. So the amount of water between these two elevations that can be trapped is 1 because the height of the lower elevation is 1. So what we can do here is that we can have multiple variables. One variable is going to be the final result. So we're going to, as we iterate through the elevation map, through the array, we have the final result variable keeping track of how many units we find. So by the end of the iteration, the final result will have the total number of units. Also, we need to keep track of the level. And the level is the, the tallest elevation that we have seen so far when we're coming from the left or when we're coming from the right. And we have to focus on the lower elevation because the amount of water that we're able to trap depends on the lower elevation. So in this case, for example, if I'm here, um, the height of this is zero, as you can see in the array. And how do I know how much water this is able to trap? I have to compare this height with the height of the of the level. In this case, the level is 1. So, because the level is 1, I know that the amount of water is 1 minus 0. Because the height of this elevation is 1 and the height of this elevation is 0, I know that I'm able to trap 1 minus 0, which is 1, 1 unit. Also, when I'm when I have the left pointer and the right pointer, I need to always choose the one that has the lower height because the amount of water depends on the lower height, on the lower elevation. For example, here the level is 2. So when I get here, I see that the height is 1 and the level is 2. 
so the amount of water that I can trap is 2 minus 1, which is 1. I continue moving forward. Here the height is 0, so the level is still 2, because this is the, this is the maximum or the, the highest level that I have seen. So I can say that the amount of water that I can trap here is the level minus the height of this elevation, which is 0. So 2 minus 0 is 2. So this is the algorithm we're going to write. We're going to use the two-pointer technique, and we're going to keep track of the level. And also we're going to focus on the lower elevation, because that's going to determine the amount of water that we can trap. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to write the code. First, I'm going to say if height equals equals no, or height dot length equals equals zero, then return zero. Because we cannot trap any water if the array is empty. Then we're going to have multiple variables. As I said, we need the final result. Int result gets a value of zero. I need also the level is going to be initialized to zero the left pointer is going to be at the beginning so it's going to be zero and the right pointer is going to be at the end so it's going to be at position height that length minus one so now i need to have a loop while left is less than right and at the end of everything I'm going to return the final result so as you can see um, left initially is here and right is here so I need to focus on the lower elevation because that's going to determine how much water I can trap so I'm going to find the height of the lowest of the lower elevation of the two so I'm going to say int lower gets a value of height. So I'm going to say height of the left is less than height of the right. If that's the case, I want the height of the left. And because I'm done with the left pointer, I just move forward using the post increment operator. Otherwise, um, I want the height of the right because the height the height of the right um, is lower. So I choose the height of the right and I move backward with the right pointer. So using the post decrement operator. So now I know which one is lower. I know I know whether the left is lower or the right is lower. So now I can focus on that one to calculate the amount of water. What else do I need? As I said, I also need to have um, the level. So I need to know um, the level has to be the maximum of the previous level I had or the current lower elevation. That's going to determine the level. So level gets a value of math that max of level or lower and then now that I have the lower and the level I can calculate the amount of water that I can have at this point the lower is 0 and the level is 1 so at this point I can have 1 minus 0 which is 1 and I add it to the final result result plus equals the level minus the lower I'm going to run the code. It seems to be working fine. I'm going to submit a solution. All right, this is working perfectly. And this is one millisecond faster than 99.76% of Java online submissions for trapping rainwater. As you can see, this solution is very concise. It's very elegant. The time complexity is big of n and the space complexity is big of 1. 
please press the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.